Hi, Sammy. Hi. <laughs> um, and what grade are you in, Sam? Fifth. Fifth grade? How old you are? Ten. All right, Yasin. So what grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. Okay. Tell me, please, Yasin, how old are you? Ten. 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 Okay, and uh, what grade are you in? Yeah. What's your background in science? Highest grade level completed or biology? What do you want me to say? <laughs> the only time I ever did science was when I was homeschooling with you. You didn't do any in seventh grade? Well, we did nothing related to this. No blood stuff. No okay. blood stuff. So you're homeschooled? I went through seventh grade. I left. I didn't. Eighth grade is when I started homeschool. Okay. So, you, okay. so you had a lot of public schooling. Then, yes. Right? You're in tenth grade now. You would be in tenth grade, but you're homeschooled. Okay. And what's your, like the last biology class, what's your level of science education? Uh, I think I had to take one biology class in college, and I think I might have gotten a D, so. Okay. And that was how long ago? Long, long ago. Okay. <laughs> Maybe like 18 years ago. Blood is like, it's like kind of hard to explain, but it's like something like that is like in your body so that like you can kind of live, but if you lose half of it, then you can die. Tell me what is blood? It's stuff in your body that's red when it comes out. Well, it goes blood. blood is something that's in your body and it comes out when you like pick a scab or something. It's hard to explain. And what is blood? Well, it's little cells that carry oxygen. It's the liquid um, that is pumped from your heart that keeps you alive. Or, okay. you know, runs through your veins. Okay. That runs in your veins, it's mm -hmm. pumped through your heart, it's like the liquid that your body inside your body. Does your blood change in any way? Yeah. How? Because like if you were hanging upside down from the bed, all the blood would flow to your head. Your blood kind of changes. It can be like sugary sometimes if you need a lot of sugar. Well, actually, I mean, blood cells can become infected from the So I guess that's what I was talking about. That would be changing. It must change because people end up getting like blood borne illness. So I don't know. What, what color is blood? Red. Okay. Um, does the color ever change of blood? Yeah, change to blue. Changes to blue. And when when would this happen? When does this? What makes it change, or when does it change? Like when you get nervous. When you get nervous. Okay. When because it's blue on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's red. Well, when it's on the inside, it's mm -hmm. like I think purple. I you think it, it's either purple or yellow on the inside. Uh huh. And then. Um, when it's like in the light, I think, like when mm -hmm. it comes out and it's um, red. It's red. Okay. Yes. Okay. And does the color ever change? Does your blood color the, ever change? The color can never change because it's actually just part of your body. Um, what color is blood? <clears throat> well, when it's in your veins, as I said, it's, it's blue, but when it comes in contact with oxygen, it's red. I don't know. I've heard that it's red when it's, no, blue when it's inside and then red when it's, it needs oxygen. That's where okay. I see it. Uh, where did you learn this? Where did you hear this? The blue red thing? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just been told to me by people like several times. Mm -hmm. Do you know what people? Like your dad is a bio My dad teacher. might have said it. Uh, kids when I was younger telling me. Uh, where did you learn this? And where did you learn this? Some from my mom and grandma. Mm -hmm. Okay, and your mom is a your mom is a nurse or something, right? Yeah, she used to take care of other people. Okay. Um, my sister. How old is your sister? Uh, she's thirteen now. Where Where did you learn this? Uh, the office or Google Plus. The off? Oh, really? From the TV? Mm -hmm. They talked about the the color of blood on the office. Which episode? Uh, season six, episode five. 
I do not remember. I, th I think I've heard it multiple times, mm -hmm. just in passing. Can you show me on your wrist? You were just pointing to your wrist. Can you explain what you see there? Those um, lines? Veins. The veins? Okay. And what color are those? Um, blue. Okay. Well, these are tendons. Mm -hmm. um, and it's bluish because of just the color of blood. And can you just tell me what you see there? Can you explain the well, blue? Well, that lines? I see blue. Okay, you can so see that those are blue. So how do you explain those blue, blue lines? How do I explain? How do you them? explain the color of them? How do I explain that they're blue? Yeah, because they look blue. Okay, and do you know why that they're blue? <laughs> no, maybe blood is blue. Okay. Maybe, or it's, it's or maybe my skin, when they come through the layer of skin, they mm -hmm. appear blue. Mm -hmm. How does blood travel through your body? Well, um, I think it comes from like, somewhere in your body and then it goes through the veins. Mm -hmm. And if you like fall or something, then your skin falls off and then it's like... How does blood travel through your body? start to wane. No turning back despite all the rain, I had to find a place. You don't know, it's okay, but you want to take a guess. What do you think is pushing the memory? Down at Gigi's eatery. Bones. Bones. Okay. Not the pumping up the heart. Yeah. Pushing the blood through Mm-hmm. Um, your heart. It's pumped through the veins. The heart pumps it, I think, through the veins, and it goes like around and around and around. So it's like constantly circling. I like to see it in horror movies. You do? Okay. And day, each day more clear about the message you're sending, that the worst is yet to come. The worst is yet to come. Okay, and does the color ever change? Does your blood yeah, color ever change? The color can never change because it's actually just part of me. You refuse to look in my eyes and all the hiding secrets.